what's up youtube it's your girl because morning and i'm back with another video and today 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 today's video is going to be the question everybody has been wanting to know why did i stop going to college now i was debating about this video because number one i have to prove my point to nobody that's number one and number two it's nobody business what goes on in my life i put on the internet what i want people to see so i really you know was debating about the video but i really didn't care about it in the same kind of sense um so i'm finally like you know what let me just tell them everything that happened let me just you know let it be known a little bit let me take this airpod off but you know let it just kind of be known a little bit and you know because people go through stuff and everybody go through the same stuff you know nobody just really know it um so i want other girls specifically other females to know that it's okay not to go to college period um so without further ado don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload a video and don't forget to tell your mom your daddy your sister your auntie your step brother so subscribe to my youtube channel because i'm lit and if they join they could be lit too okay period so without further ado let's just get into the video so if i'm looking down it's because you know i'm looking at my notes i needed to write notes for this video so that i didn't miss anything so the first point that i wanted to talk about I want to talk about like the process of me choosing a college um and choosing my degree and everything like that in the background you probably can hear the um air conditioner but i'm hot but um basically i just want to talk about my decision making of the college that i wanted to go to and you know why i chose the college i did um and just why in general i chose my major so basically i have went to a, i'm not gonna tell the college because i don't when i talk about certain stuff i don't want people to be like oh i'm not gonna go to that college because blah 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 like you know so yeah it just wasn't for me so um my major that i was choosing was business administration and then i was going to minor in entrepreneurship now the whole little backstory of me going to college um it was kind of it wasn't forced because i'm the type of person where if i don't do something i'm not going to like i'm going to kind of regret it so i feel like if i didn't go to college just to experience you know that you know beginning of it i feel like i kind of would have been like dig i should have went to college you know so it was just like it was a lot of like stuff going through my head um it was just too much so i did decide to go within my state because i kind of already knew that i wasn't planning on going to college but like i said i did want to you know just go ahead and take the experience but i also didn't want to waste a lot of money so i stayed within state um and you know it wasn't it wasn't bad um I, I didn't really care about staying in state um i did feel like i didn't have a like i had independency i don't really know if that's the word i had independency but i didn't have it you know to the extent where my parents was far 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 away you know so um like i had said i had been new that i didn't really want to go to college um but i just kind of went <laughs> i don't want to say only because you know i wanted to say i made it but that's honestly like one of the reasons why and and honestly like i just said i just wanted to experience like i'm experiencing person if i don't experience something i'm not gonna like i'm gonna regret it if i don't experience it basically so i kind of just went with the flow i went with you know the whole little financial aid stuff paying out of pocket etc etc let me tell you one thing about these colleges is they will they will finesse you if you do not know how to if you do not know how to finesse they will finesse you you can't finesse a finesser so i kind of had already knew what they was on so i'm like like i already know what they doing i already know what they're you know saying so when i got to the college of course i still had to end up paying out of pocket even though in the beginning they said i wouldn't have to pay as much but i still ended up paying the same amount as i would have before um i did stay on campus so that was an extra 
on top of the amount um i kind of just wanted that independency again um of me not being at home but me still being near you know not that far away from my family because i am a family person and i am a people's person so like if i'm around a whole bunch of people i didn't know like that is new opportunities but i wasn't ready for it honestly i was i wasn't i wasn't ready for it. i've been around my family my whole life i've been around my friends my whole life so it's like i just wasn't mentally ready and i could have got ready but i didn't want to so that's pretty much that um that's how i chose my college um that's why i decided to go to college and that's pretty much that so while i was in college i was still um being an entrepreneur even before i even graduated out of um 12th grade i was still an entrepreneur um i still had my businesses on the side and my little you know side hustles or whatever um but I didn't think that college would take up most of my time, which it does. So having a business and having a college life, like it's it's like it's maintainable, but it's so hard. And I'm just gonna be real, it's hard. It's, it, it is hard because college take up most of your time and business take up most of your time. And it's like one of them gonna have to get the end of the stick and unfortunately it was my business and my business is my passion and my business is my baby so it's like i couldn't give up my business you know for college so i'm like you know what like i don't i don't want to do this anymore and not only because of my business but i also just felt like i was wasting money so like i told y'all i did go to school for um business administration entrepreneurship um, but by me being an entrepreneur and me being an entrepreneur specifically for three years, well now three years, like three plus years actually, um, I just felt like I kind of knew everything. And when you go to college to be, you know, like in a business career field, they're not like, that's kind of for people who don't really know where to start or who don't know what specific field they want to be in they just know they want to be in business and i had already knew what i wanted to do i knew i i set my life out i knew college i knew i didn't want to go to college but like i said you know things happen and i wanted to experience it so i just went ahead and took that risk but in all reality it was like i still wasn't for it like that so um yeah going to school for business administration and just business in general i feel like that is specifically for people who a don't know where to start with having a business or you know b want to work in like the business field so accounting finance etc etc but me i wasn't going to work for a corporation i want to work for myself so it was like well why am i coming here when they're teaching me about you know all of this other stuff and i'm not an accountant i don't want to be an accountant for the other business i want to be i can be my own accountant yes it was good but i don't want to be an accountant if you feel what i'm saying so that was pretty much that and i'm not discouraging anybody who going to college or who wants to go to college or who is in college for business administration administration i just don't it was it just wasn't for me nowadays i feel like you can learn everything on social media you can learn how to be i literally just posted a video before this video explaining that i'm having a free webinar so nowadays social media is teaching you how to start a business sometimes it's for free sometimes it's for money but like it's 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 a cost but it's not a debt cost like it's not a big loss it's not a big um amount of money that you have to pay for it like it may be a thousand maybe it might be less than a thousand but it's not gonna be you know 10 plus 20 plus thousand dollars if you get what i'm saying um so that's kind of where i was with that um i just wasn't feeling it and in the beginning i was so happy i'm glad that i did experience like the dorm life because now i know that i can never share a space with you know another female human being that was like them if that makes sense um so it just let me know what i did like and what i didn't like um i also like the advantage like the independency of me having to know what i want to eat for later um planning out my schedule going to class by myself like 
it it was good it was good the experience was good other than you know the crazy dorm roommates story or whatever but overall like the experience was cool like it wasn't i feel like in, in the second semester i kind of let up because i was like you know what i'm not even coming back why you know why even do that and you're probably like well why didn't you move out of the dorm before the second semester and that is because the way that our housing system was set up it was like it was just gonna be too much to move out and i kind of should have moved out but i'm glad i didn't because it kind of got myself like um it kind of made me realize you know that i need my own space and my own place so i'm kind of glad that i didn't um so i just like i said i don't want this video to be about you know me saying don't go to college college just waste some money because like i said don't go around mixing up my words i specifically said social media can teach you about how to start a business how to maintain a business how to keep a business how to make money how to make a side hustle how to have a side hustle like social media is teaching you that no social media is not teaching you how to be a doctor social media is not teaching you how to be a lawyer social media is not teaching you um what else a nurse how to be a nurse like i feel like if you're going for that stuff that is school is needed for that and i was never that girl who's like i want to go to school to be a nurse and i want to go to school to be a doctor and i want to go to school to be a lawyer i always said from the beginning of not the beginning of grammar school but from like sixth grade and up i've been saying i'm going to business i'm going to school for business no i didn't know what kind of business but i just knew i would have my own business and i would go to school for business and major in business administration I've always knew that. I was never the girl who said, you know, all those type of career fields. I always said business, business, business. So I feel like I'm glad that I made the decision. I'm not regretting the re decision at all because you live, you learn, and now I know what I don't like and what I do like and that I probably, you know, won't be, well, I'm. it's not even a probably, I won't be going back to college um, as of right now unless you know i find a soft spot for another career field which i highly doubt but i'm not gonna doubt it i'm not gonna never say never that's one thing i would never do because you can you never know god can plant anything from you today and tomorrow it'll be a different story so i'm not gonna never say never but until i find like a soft spot for like a different career field such as like i don't know um maybe being a nurse maybe being a lawyer until i find that career field that i love i'm not i won't be attending college because i'm not wasting any more money i've wasted enough money i wasted enough time i wasted enough um mental states if that makes sense How, going to college is very like it can be very um what's to call it it can be very mentally disturbing um but in the end, it's all worth it. Honestly, my classes were cool until the second semester, y'all. I was on thin ice. I, this is how close I was to just being like, you know what? F it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, the video, it wasn't supposed to be like a long 30-minute video because there's no long explanation for it. I simply just, that just wasn't my career field. And I kind of, I'm already milking this I'm already milking it. So like why why pay why pay the other people fifty, sixty thousand to go to school and and I already know what I'm talking about. And y'all y'all wanna know something that was so like this whole day was like my it wasn't even mind blowing, but it was like so like irritating it wasn't even irritating for me how what would i explain it it was just it was like i don't know how to explain it, but basically my professor um i was telling him about one of the career choices that i was going with um that was within entrepreneurship and he's like well if you don't have a degree how are you going to be able to get in that field and i'm like well i already you know know what i need to know i've no i know four years three or four years worth so I kind of feel like I got it already.
you feel me and i know he's a counselor so he's supposed to be like oh you should go to college but if i'm telling you deep down in my heart that i don't want to go don't pressure me to go and the fact that you said that i'm not gonna be able to do the same thing that i was going to do without a degree like basically downplaying being an entrepreneur so guess who's gonna be number one on my list when i get rich to come back and say you know what you was just here like two years ago and now i'm a millionaire and i didn't even get a degree that's 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 that those are the type of people who make me keep going him and i can't wait to go back to the school one day and be like you're still making how much you're making and i'm making millions bro i'm making millions and you know what else that i did realize was that a lot of people go to college and they get their degree and they get out of school and they're like i still don't know what i want to do So you went to college for four years, right? Spent probably over $20,000. And you still don't know what you want to do. Okay. So just go ahead and keep wasting money and your time and your life is just going to pass you by. Because you clearly don't know what you want to do. So it's like, you know. And also what I do know is that a lot of people go to college for stuff that they they don't even use in the future. I literally know... A, a, a good amount of 10 people that went to, went to college and they don't even use their degree till this day and they're millionaires literally millionaires so i'm not down playing college because college was fun college is college it's school like but what i am saying is that college just wasn't for me and that's okay you know the overall experience was great i love the you know the nature of being a college student i love saying oh yeah i went to college i love saying that so that's pretty much that if y'all have anything else to like say about you know the whole college thing you can just comment down below we can talk about it you can dm me we can talk about it it doesn't even matter um and entrepreneurship is not for everybody either so if you go to college don't don't get like downplayed or don't feel like less than because you're not an entrepreneur and you going to college don't feel like that because people go to college and make good money so it's just your preference and that wasn't my preference so yeah um that's pretty much the end of the video i told y'all i wasn't gonna be long because it wasn't really much to say but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications. So you get notified every time I upload. And also don't forget to tell your mom, your daddy, your sister, your auntie, your stepbrother. To subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because I'm lit. And if they join, it can be lit too. Period. Bye.